I really got into politics as a means to an end. And it quickly became apparent to me that the most effective way to enact change was to actually be the politician or be a person immediately behind the politician. My name is Alex McLean, and I was the campaign manager for Governor Peter Shumlin. Alex was Governor Shumlin's deputy chief of staff. She also served as the governor's campaign manager for both his 2010 and 2012 campaigns. So, right, can everyone please give Alex a I'm from Vermont, born and raised. And one of the amazing things about Vermont is that it's so small and the access to the politicians is, is readily available that you can really do that, you can really make a difference. I really felt passionate about getting things done. I met the campaign manager for the gubernatorial candidate in 2006, Scudder Parker. They asked me if I would be interested in coming on the campaign as an assistant. And the candidate that I was working for knew Gay Symington, the Speaker of the House at the time, and recommended me to her as an aide. And I thought, if I can ever grab that talent, I'm going to. I saw a window of opportunity, and I went for it. He felt like I knew Vermont well. I'd born and raised and, and understood politics in Vermont. So he was pretty persistent. So I accepted the position to run his campaign for governor in 2010. I'm delighted that Alex has accepted that position. It was a five-way Democratic primary. And we were up against some pretty uh, experienced campaign managers. One of our opponents hired Joe Trippi from the Howard Dean campaign. And I was 27. I was a female. I had never run a campaign before. So I heard criticism and doubt everywhere I looked. A number of people said to me, are you serious? You need a different campaign manager. You know, there's no way she's going to be able to cut it. And frankly, when you run a campaign at that level, you don't even have time to be scared. All you can do is drink from the fire hose, which is exactly what I did. It's now clear Vermont Democrats have their nominee for governor this fall. I am humbled and honored to accept the Democratic nomination for governor of the state of Vermont. She won a five-way Democratic primary that no one thought we would win. Uh, we only won by 203 votes. It was at that point that the calls came to him saying, hey, now you need, you know, it's the big time now, you need an experienced campaign manager. Hearing the criticism and the, the amount of doubts, frankly, made me stronger and more determined to prove all of them wrong. I cannot tell you how humble and how honored I am she got me elected governor in a very, very tough race, and don't forget it was 2010, a year that most Democrats in America lost. That was when the Tea Party Congress was brought in. I could never have gotten as far as I did without what I call the sisterhood. I had a good support group of, of older women who had gone through similar situations, Liz Bankowski being one who had run Madeleine Kunin's campaign. Very few women, I think, have run campaigns for governors or statewide campaigns. Her success in managing these two distinct campaigns in a primary and a general um, is definitely got to be one of the toughest political challenges any campaign manager has faced in Vermont. What she did in Vermont would stand up against what anybody's done anywhere in the country. Alex is a true daughter of Vermont. Everything she does is with her deep commitment to make Vermont a better place to live, and particularly being from the Northeast Kingdom. I had several opportunities uh, in politics to go down to D.C. and every time chose not to because it's really Vermont and the kingdom that where I want to be, what I want to work towards. In late September of 2012, Bill Stenger announced the Northeast Kingdom Economic Development Initiative. This is a $600 million initiative and will bring over 10,000 jobs to the Northeast Kingdom, a region that has suffered from high rates of poverty. This is absolutely the largest economic development project in Vermont's history. This will be a new hotel as well as a commercial level with restaurants, shops, etc. I work with investors from over 70 countries and encourage them to invest in our project. But most of my investors come from Russia. They like to invest across the country and they understand real estate. So yep. these types of real estate projects are, are um, attractive. I feel incredibly lucky and blessed to be able to be in my own backyard working 
um, on such an exciting project and really make a difference in the lives of those around me. The number one thing that I learned was not to doubt myself. I've seen so many women who've been uh, considered for higher office or a higher position to say, oh gosh, can I do it? When I entered politics and my professional career, frankly, I thought there was no gender issue at all. I figured the fight had already been fought and was very um, unpleasantly surprised. If it were a race, I would say that women's starting line is about 25 yards behind the man. I think that the more women that get involved both in leadership positions in politics and, and in business, that will do a tremendous deal to continue to bend the curve. It's incredibly important for me that I help other young women uh, become involved in leadership roles so they can make a difference. All of you here know that our society would greatly benefit from having more women involved in leadership roles, and not just politics but businesses too. I applaud all of you for your interest and obvious determination to get involved. Running is tough, and I believe it's even tougher as a woman. I think having role models like Alex is, crucial, is extremely crucial. She's clearly young, and that alone makes her a relatable person for this demographic of co young college women. Seeing other women who are engaged in politics at an early age shows me that you can do it right out of college. You don't need a resume, you don't need to have so much experience. You could have the confidence from the beginning to be able to do it. Be strong, confident, intelligent, but most important, be yourself. My name is Alex McLean, and I am proud to be a Vermont maker.